You ready, happy? Time for video. Let's do it. Hey, you guys. Uh, so yeah, here's the follow-up to uh, two years ago video of the uh, the Stax hybrid uh, uh, JFET tube amp um, with my bat preamp, freshly you know renovated, uh, re uh, restored, I guess you could say. Um, I'm using the SACD mod modified board that I did for the Sony here. Uh, PCM is only for blue sound and any CDs, PCM files. And basically guys, yeah, so the, the post-op review is and why I'm so excited. Ever since I've had these headphones, there's always been something that's bugged me about them. Sometimes the treble gets a little shrill. Um, these are not, you know, multi-thousand dollar uh, Stax headphones. These are a cheap pair of less than $500 costs, you know, mass drop um, sets, but whatever. And I've tried all kinds of combinations to kind of smoothen things out. And I came very close two years ago with the DirectStream DAC Senior as the source, um, fed through the BAT preamp and then fed into this guy. But there was still just something not right about it. I think I finally got it. Using the modifications that I did on here this morning, I was just playing nothing but SACDs, uh, DSD files, and everything was there. Vocal sibilance without being shrill. Uh, some of those weird tones that used to bug me before, it's all gone. Um, now, have I tried this with PCM files, like in a serious thing? Uh, not yet. Um, but honestly, when I do play PCM files, I still prefer the sound out of Leo's DAC with the power supply that I built for it over the, um, the internal uh, PCM DAC that's in this guy. Um, that's nothing new. That goes back to when I had the, uh, the Stellar Gain Cell DAC preamp from uh, three years ago. So yeah, that's basically, it's going to be a quick little review. I'm super, super happy about this. Um, it's kind of nice to have a pair of headphones that I can just kind of put them on and forget about the technology, forget about this, forget about that, and just put them on and listen to the music. Uh, short little video for today. Just thought I'd, you know, slap it together, let you guys know. Um, I don't know who else out there has bought these mass drop with the original Exciter box, but as you can see, I've referenced some of my old videos, and that Exciter box is a piece of shit. There's, there's no argument. There's not enough gain. It does, you know, hit some, um, for me anyways, hard to listen to uh, tones and things like that. What does Happy want to talk about audio-wise, huh? What do you want to talk about? The Leafs choking? They're going to choke again, you know that. First off, uh, my apologies to Giselle, Giselle Labs. Uh, I saw Cheap, cheap Audio Man Randy's uh, interview with the, with the fine couple there, fine folks over there, and... Uh, for some reason I lumped them in with the Chi Fi DAX and that was totally wrong. So let me get that. The lab to rib living room, um, it's slowly getting there. Then one of these weekends, I'm going to take down everything off the walls. Uh, my wife's going to paint this room the color that she wants. And then those panels are going to get covered with fabric. I'm going to get a nice simple wood frame. And I might try to do like what Andrew Robinson did where put some wood slats on the front to make it like a diffuser absorber type of thing. Plus it'll look cool. Nothing really, no big plans for the channel right now. Uh, nothing really to review. Um, you know, I'm still a show for Orchard Audio. Don't forget that, guys. Thanks again uh, for watching, guys. Uh, if, again, if you like the video, like and subscribe. Um, I guess for the other guys are all into that bell notification thing if you want, whatever. And thanks again. Enjoy the weekend. And I did this one without booze after I watched the last video I did. I was like, okay, stick to scotch next time I do these things and stay away from the martinis on camera. All right, have a good one, guys. Bye for now.